We're asked to write the integral as a sum of integrals without absolute values and then evaluate. We are given the integral from zero to nine of the absolute value of six minus x. I've graphed the integrand function below over the closed interval from zero to nine. Notice how the function is non-negative over this interval and therefore the easiest way to evaluate the integral would be to determine the area of the two triangles and then sum the areas. But we're asked to write the integral as a sum of integrals without absolute values and then evaluate. To better understand how to do this, we need to focus on the value of the expression six minus x over the interval from zero to nine. Notice how over the interval from zero to six, the value of the expression six minus x is the same as the value of the absolute value of the expression six minus x. But then when x is greater than six, notice how the value of the expression is negative, which means if we wanted the absolute value, we would have to take the opposite of the value of the expression six minus x which means the given integral is equal to the integral from zero to six. Again, over this interval, the expression six minus x is non-negative, and therefore the integrand function would be six minus x. Plus for the second integral, we have the integral from six to nine. Over this interval, the value of the expression six minus x would be negative, and therefore to find the absolute value, we would have to take the opposite of the value of the expression six minus x, which means the integrand function here is the opposite of six minus x. Let's go ahead and simplify this integrand function here. We have the integral from zero to six of six minus x plus the integral from six to nine of negative six plus x or x minus six. And now let's evaluate this on the next slide. The next step is to determine the antiderivatives. So for the first integral, the antiderivative of six minus x is six x minus x squared divided by two. And then for the second integral, the antiderivative is x squared divided by two minus six x. And now we need to find big F of b minus big F of a for both antiderivatives. So we first substitute six for x, which gives us six times six minus six squared divided by two, and then we substitute zero for x, which gives us six times zero minus zero squared divided by two. And then for the second antiderivative, we first substitute nine, which gives us nine squared divided by two minus six times nine, and then we have minus, and now we substitute six, which gives us six squared divided by two minus six times six. And now let's go ahead and evaluate these on the calculator. And let's go ahead and do this in parts. So to begin, we have six times six minus six squared divided by two, which gives us 18. And then we have minus the quantity six times zero minus zero squared divided by two, which is zero. So here we have 18 minus zero. And for the second part, we have nine squared divided by two minus six times nine, which is negative 13.5. And then we have six squared divided by two minus six times six, which is negative 18. So here we have negative 13.5 minus negative 18. Simplifying, we have 18 plus negative 13.5 minus negative 18, which is equivalent to plus 18, which is positive 4.5, giving us a sum of 22.5. Now to check this answer, let's go back to the graph on the first slide. Because the integrand function is non-negative over the closed interval from zero to nine, we could determine the value of the def integral by determining the area of these two right triangles where the area of a triangle is equal to one half base times the height. So the area of this first rectangle on the left is equal to one half times six times six, shown here. The area of the second rectangle on the right is equal to one half times three times three, which is here, which of course gives us the same value of 22.5. So, so this method would have been much easier, but again, we were asked to write the integral as a sum of two integrals without the absolute value, which we did. I hope you found this helpful.